Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm so glad you're here. By popular, well, this is just something I wanted to talk about. By popular request, demand, all the things. I wanted to talk about the Megan WME of it all. And uh, I'm excited to get into this. So here with me is my favorite co-host, my partner in crime, my partner in life. Um, it's my husband, Jay. Say hello. Hey, this is Jay, also known as Dr. Bad Vibes. You can find me on YouTube and Twitch. And right now you can find me on location in Upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> the reason we're doing this is I'm doing a secret project. And if you're on Patreon, you know about it. And if you don't know about it, join Patreon. It's coming soon. It's something I'm working on. I'm not ready to announce it yet, but stay tuned for an announcement, hopefully very soon, about something I'm working on that I'm very excited about. And uh, Jay will be somewhat involved in that, too. I'm excited about all of it. But, okay, speaking of excited, let's talk about this. Why are we here? Why are we here? Um, <laughs> because Angela Levin has kicked up a storm, and uh, I'm excited to talk about it. And I've had some of you guys commenting and asking if I'll talk about it. So here we are. It, Angela Levin sent out this tweet, and it says, Megan's name is not on her new agent, William Morris's website. Could she have been dropped quietly? Dun, dun, dun. So, Jay, just off the bat, what are your thoughts on this? Angela Levin, a royal biographer, who I tend to really like, and I, I, I love to watch her, of course, when she teams up with Nana, and I think she's usually pretty accurate. I mean, sometimes she speculates on stuff, don't we all? But I think she's usually pretty good. So, Jay, what are your thoughts on this? We don't know if it's true, and I'll go into why it might not be true. But just hearing this, Angela is saying that Megan may have been dropped by William Morris. What do you think? Well, she seems like she's been acting like she has no agent. She keeps doing <laughs> things um, that seem to go against what anybody would tell her. Um, and, you know, I assume that's with her being reined in so not having an agent like i'm kind of hoping that's what it is because they're just going to be totally unhinged now <laughs> that is a like, very good point yeah yeah i mean who knows what parking lot they'll show up in now <laughs> maybe mcdonald's that's right perhaps ba, 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 ba. what perhaps burger paw <laughs> oh harry are you still waiting on your birthday horse uh, i want my birthday horse to ride down <laughs> burger paw's playground slide Nice. But yes, you're so right. I think the same thing. If they have been dropped, oh my goodness, like I think they'll only get worse. And by they, I mean she will only get worse about you're exactly right. The parking lot photo shoots. Just can you imagine that this past year has been them under, I say them, I don't know if he's under management, but her allegedly under this management company. I mean, think about like the near catastrophic car chase and things like that. <laughs> And well, all yeah, the parking I mean, lot photo. Uh huh. If they've been under management, either they've gotten ripped off or they're just not listening to anything they're being told. <laughs> <laughs> probably the second one, probably not listening. You know, I have heard, I don't want to go too tinfoil hat here, but I had heard conspiracy theories. There's somebody that kind of gives me some inside juice that tends to kind of have their finger on the pulse of things. And I'm not trying to be vague, I'm just telling you, like, because they help me out with information sometimes I, and they ask me not to review. I, I don't, I don't talk about it, but there is somebody. And according to them, that whole thing was cooked up by Megan. And that's not really a stretch of the imagination. I'm sure it was. I don't think Harry could think his way out of a wet paper bag, but that was cooked up by her. And then they got in such a huge fight over it. And like supposedly they were talking about, I, I don't know, they were like going their separate ways that night and it, it really, it really became a big shit storm. I, I just think about that night all the time about how, I don't know how much they lied and no other information's come out. Nobody has cell phone footage of it. Sorry. I'll spend two hours talking about this. I just, that weighs on my mind a lot. Yeah. That was blatantly manufactured and <laughs> I'm sure the agency, if they had anything to do with that night, they're just like, what are you doing? I like, wonder stop. that too. No agency, especially when that big is going to recommend, oh yeah, you should definitely get into a car chase, a pretend car chase in a city where you can't drive more than two miles per hour. You should definitely. <laughs> yeah. And accuse uh, unknown people of a crime. Yes, Exactly. I'm honestly, I judge WME for waiting this long if they have, in fact, dropped them. But the reason we're saying if is because 
there is it's not crystal clear on this now i'm having people say oh there she's definitely dropped believe me i think it'd be hilarious i'm here for it but i'm not 100 percent convinced upon some digging i went to the I went to Angela Levin's Twitter and I was reading people's comments and stuff. Well, she's no longer. Well, okay, back up. There's not, we're not even sure if she was actually on the website front and center. There was an announcement by them back in April um, saying they're honored to announce that WME is now represents Megan, blah, blah. Okay. But then I don't, I'm not positive she was actually up on the website. And then somebody else pointed out, that there's a Harry Walker website, not that Harry. Oh, oh. How, how would Harry Walker sound, do you think? Oh, yes. My name is Harry, and I walk. <laughs> I get to place to place through walking. That's right. So this Harry Walker website is owned by WME, and that's how you can schedule her for um, for a speech. By the way, Jay, should we schedule her for a speech? <laughs> yeah. Let's... Uh... <laughs> Can we crowdfund a speech on how wonderful uh, Catherine, Princess of Wales, is, and get her to speak on it? Oh, God. I mean, maybe this is like, I mean, if it's owned by them, that's probably a sign that she may still be with them. But maybe it's, I don't know, maybe they had a separate contract for the speaking thing and they can't totally drop her. That's exactly what I wonder, too. I, I just think about any actual major celebrity, and I don't know who they rep and who they don't. It really doesn't matter. Um, Name a big celebrity. The Rock. Let's. Pre- I don't know. Uh, he's probably got his own thing. But let's just pretend like they rep The Rock. Do you think that they're going to put him in just the speaking role? Or do you think he'll be like front and center on the website? Like, look who we have. You know, of course you're going to put him front and center. So it just says a lot to me. Even if they are still repping her, that they don't even have her on the website. Right? Yeah. Plus, let's let's book The Rock to tell us uh, that he had in and out for the first time for the third time. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, real quick, in case people don't understand that reference, uh, d- can you tell people what that oh, what that's about? Yeah, this is a total insane, no, it's hilarious. I, lo- I kind of love it. We love The Rock, but we do hear funny stories. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I like him, but I've like any wrestler, like they're freaking carnies, and uh, you know, I've, I've watched I've watched wrestling since I was a kid. You know, I'm not super into it now, but I'm still you know kind of I'll check in with it. But anyways um he's been called out multiple times for like saying very contradictory things like the one i always joke about is it sounds like he's had like 10 hometowns (laughs) (laughs) he's referred to so many places as his hometown which i mean to be fair maybe he moved a lot but i mean it's it's a bit of a stretch but uh he's very active on social media and he's a very uh you know, high paid influencer. Uh, yeah. From what I understand, like, you know, his posts are worth a lot. I think they even build those into his contracts now. But anyway, uh, he posted something about In and Out recently, and somebody showed, like, he's said that this was his first time at In and Out, like, two other times in the past. <laughs> so he, I don't know, maybe he just has a bad memory. Who knows? I uh-huh. mean, you know, he, he is a rock. <laughs> They're nice. not known for their, uh, you know, uh, amazing memories. <laughs> And in fairness, I bet you in and out in and out doesn't give a blank as long as the rock is tweeting. I went to M- in and out. Everybody's gonna be like, oh, oh, that sounds good. I want to go or oh, that's cool. Let's go see if we can find the rock. Yeah, whatever it is, people are going to go to in and out. Yeah. So, it, oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. G- generally, social media has the memory of a goldfish. So, you know, <laughs> True. Everybody, everybody's like, oh, ha, you know, they don't, I'd say, well, I mean, who's paying attention to that? Honestly, like, uh-huh. I'd be like, oh, OK, he's eating a burger. Cool. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really get that invested into it. And I wouldn't have even known if it wasn't for, uh, you know, some of the, the crazy news I follow bringing it up and it's like, Oh, okay. (laughs) But bringing that full circle back to Megan, if she was the star that she thinks she is in her head, wouldn't they have, first of all, they wouldn't have dropped her if they did. I have to say allegedly, because we're still not a hundred percent sure. And you know, I don't like to talk about things until we're sure, but I felt like, we should probably just talk about what <laughs> it's a lot of talk about, but talk about what people are talking about. And right now it's, Hey, has she been dropped? But if, if she was the star, she thinks she is in her head. Wouldn't they have her front and center on that website and not just relegated to giving speeches? That's just. Well, yeah, I'm totally. Mm-hmm. If she were as big as she thought in her head, she would be, you know, uh, she would be the, another rock and actually be an influencer. You know, I mean, you know, 
I'm going to keep bringing up the rock now. You know, yeah. say, he, he, <laughs> say he posts like, you know, a workout photo. He's like, check out these new headphones. He's going to sell tons of those headphones, you know, and whoever paid him to wear those is going to be like cha-ching. Yes. And I mean, what could you do with her that would be the equivalent? I mean, if, <laughs> if she... If she, she tried actually selling stickers in the parking lot thing, right? Yeah, I mean that's a good example. Or even that coffee stuff that she's directly invested in. Uh -huh. If she if she had that much sway, like that coffee would be everywhere. That is very true. Uh, and 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 I think about that too. So she pays. I'm assuming she pay, I don't know how the management thing works or they take a fee or whatever. So you're telling me she signed with this huge management company and tell me an ad besides the parking lot stickers. Or the coffee that, as you pointed out, was she's di directly invested in. Tell me something she's worked for or worked with. I can't think of anything. I mean, <laughs> so as far as a management company goes, even the best can't really find anything for her to do. Yeah, she still has that Instagram account, right? Is it, is it ever posted anything? No, the only thing I know about that is it likes to post within hours of the, um, like the palace about things to try to get attention for themselves yeah but checks out yeah. yeah there you go speaking of we have and we'll get back to this because i want to keep going with the um so speaking of things coming up and uh trying to steal thunder you know Catherine, princess of wales birthday is january 9th so we have that looming so i know she'll be up to something around then any predictions jay on what she'll do to try to steal thunder from Catherine, princess of wales maybe she'll have her own birthday horse. <laughs> wow. And what, right around a parking lot? Yeah. Yeah. She'll cover it in uh she'll stickers. cover it in stickers and in and out burgers and trot it around the parking lot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so going back to the tweets, um, let's talk about some of these other ones. So we have Madame Pinocchio saying, finally, WME dumped Meghan Markle. This seems to be the ongoing situation, according to uncorroborated reports. And it seems that she was also rejected by L'Oreal. So this is something else that I haven't found 100% concrete proof, but people are speculating. It's alleged that she was even... It sounds like she was trying to get into a deal with L'Oreal, but then the deal was rejected. To me, I think of it more as a Dior of it. She was probably, what's the word, like vision boarding it or manifesting it or whatever. I don't know if this was an actual thing. Jay, Maybe you have lots of opinions on makeup. What were you going to say? Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Is it weird that ba 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 popped into my head when you said that? <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Sounding good. Hey, ad agencies, I I'm I'm free. Hire me. <laughs> nice. But yeah, I mean, it sounds what little bit I've heard. It sounds like she's just trying to force herself into a brand deal with all these companies. I think like, so too. Like she's like, hey, look, I have this. Do you want me to keep wearing this? And they're like, nah. Well, honestly, yes, exactly that. And then I think about when she was trying to get Harry's attention before they were even dating. I've pointed out before in interviews, she would try to have her name associated with his name and in hopes that, you know, when you search things that her name would appear near it. I believe that was the case with the Dior stuff, hoping that her name would show up and they'd be like, oh yeah, we should work with Megan. Yeah, right. Um, and then I wondered if that was the same with L'Oreal, like, oh yeah, we should work with Megan. Her name's right there. People are searching it when that's not exactly what they're searching. They're searching to see oh, what yeah. went wrong. So in, in that same vein, I remember you telling me that she was like, just totally weird on Twitter. Like, wasn't she like trying to insert herself in tweets with like Ellen or something? Yes. That's a great, wow. You actually listened to me. That's amazing. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Who are you? <laughs> no, you're exactly right. That was a thing that came out. I believe that was in Tom Bauer's revenge book that um, she was uh, tweeting out things like, Hey, at whatever Ellen's, you know, at Ellen, uh, I got the dog we talked about. It was something generic like that. Um, and it was just whoever was saying this believes it. It doesn't even matter if Ellen was involved in it. It's more for the appearance that she was working alongside of Ellen to get a dog. You know what I mean? To, to force almost oh, yeah. a relationship there. 
Yeah. So I was very curious about this. And I, I again, we're going to get back to this WME, but the speaking thing has caught my attention. And now I'm thinking about this, this whatever it was called, Harry, whatever Walker thing. So I clicked on it just to see. And first thing I noticed is she's not showing up on the featured speakers on the, like when you first go to this website, you see all these people like politicians and different, you know, well-known people that you can hire to speak for you. You So she's not showing up there, but you can go to this little magnifying glass and search. Now, immediately the thing I notice is when she, she <laughs> shocker, I typed in Meghan Markle. It doesn't come up like that. It comes up as Meghan, comma, the Duchess of Sussex. I mean, <laughs> just can't, can't stop with the title thing, right? Okay. So you scroll down and I'm not kidding you. I'll show you a screenshot of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 paragraphs about her on this thing. All written by her, I'm sure, you know, <laughs> um, just unbelievable. All right. I'm trying to see how to book her though. Oh, inquire about availability. And fee- oh, all right. You have to fill out a form to try to book her. It doesn't say how much she charges. You have to. Either way, it's too much. Yes, you're yeah, exactly I mean, right. <laughs> any amount is too much. <laughs> so what's funny I'm noticing is, okay, so this Harry Walker agency is out of uh, New York. It's uh, Lexington Avenue, New York. And when I was first looking this up, I saw a Harry Walker agency out of Lexington, New York, but I thought, well, that can't be the same company because it only has 15 reviews and it looks like they're all one star or close to one star because it's just showing a one star review. So yeah, not looking good. I mean, I'm just surprised. No wonder it has a different name is what I'm trying to say because it doesn't seem like it's doing great. But yeah, other people are tweeting speculation that she has been dropped by them. I had heard that her contract is up in the spring because um, WME announced the partnership in April of 2023. So if assuming, again, we don't know, we're just speculating. If assuming she signed a one-year contract, you'd think that they just write it out until April, even if she, you know, she sucks like we know she does. I'm surprised. I mean, you had to blank up pretty bad, right? To get canceled early. I don't know how any of that works. Yeah, that was my thought too. I mean, well, one, it, it, I don't know. Maybe it's more than a year, but I mean, she may have easily have done something to really make somebody mad. And they're just like, all right, fine. Like the Kevin Costner thing. I think about that a lot. The Kevin Costner thing, the way I understand it, and again, I might have this wrong, but the way I understand it, she got there from the help of William Morris Agency. And it was just Harry that was meant to speak. We know what happened. She, and actually he wasn't even going to speak. I don't think now it's been a while since I talked about this. I believe he was just meant to be up there and give Kevin his award, maybe say a few words, but that's not even clear. It was more him giving an award, but she insisted on being on stage. And then we all know what happened. She clawed at the mic. What else is new? So if that's the case and William Morris, you know, used their pull, their connections to get her there. We saw how that went. I wonder if that had something to do with it. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, if they pissed off one of the big dogs in their agency or somebody, mm-hmm. you know, or at least the connections, uh-huh. you know, that's uh, that's probably a big no-no and a good reason to be like, all right, you, you, you'll need to get out of here. Yeah, I think so, too. So that's, I mean, that's the, you can see it in print there of what people are saying. Now, I just want to talk about our thoughts on it. So, Jay, what do you, what do you, what do you make of all this WME stuff? I mean, whether this is accurate or not, who would want to represent her? <laughs> I mean, she has a reputation of, uh, as, as they say, uh, mar- markling uh, brands. Yes, like, such a good I mean, point. I mean, the, the one that seems to be confirmed are the uh, uh, the stickers. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, did any good press come out of that? It doesn't sound like it. So, no, uh, not if, that I'm aware of. If they paid money to do that, they're probably like shit <laughs> yeah uh, they, they probably i would think they regret that they may want a refund i don't know they they may have even complained to whoever uh facilitated that deal and that may have come back on uh, harry and megan and they're just like god it's like everything they they have the mildest touch of shit <laughs> like everything they touch turns to shit i said the same thing that's funny yes you're exactly right yep i think so too who is going to work with them 
knowing that they won't listen to you, that even if even if Megan followed exactly what WME said, which I don't believe she ever would, but let's just play devil's advocate and say she did. I don't think that means people will automatically like her or forget. I mean, they won't forgive what they both did, you know, and the way they treated the royal family and the way they treat her family. So I, I just, who's going to run right out and do anything that she's advertising, buy anything she's advertising. In fact, when I heard about this L'Oreal thing, I, my immediate thought was, please don't be true. Cause I really like L'Oreal foundation, you know, <laughs> and I don't, I won't buy it again if she's associated. Yeah. I mean, public opinion is pretty obvious and it has yeah. been for a while i mean mm -hmm. if it gets to the point where south park makes fun of you and family guy makes fun of you you're probably not well liked um uh, you know depending on the uh how they handle it but in, the, in those situations no it was definitely <laughs> you know raking them through the coals and saying that they're you know <laughs> they, they don't do anything all they do yes. is complain and want money so yeah that's I mean, their, how, that's their public if, image. You're exactly right. The guy that worked with them on the pod, what that was high up with the podcast or whatever. No, he has his own podcast. That Bill oh, yeah. Simmons guy called him yeah. lazy. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, the Spotify guy, the executive. Or, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, I called them lazy fucking grifters. So <laughs> <laughs> if that's on your resume, I mean, you, you know, <laughs> what do you do? Exactly. Plus, we're coming on the heels. I mean. We'll never forgive. We'll never forget what they do. But just think general public. Sometimes sometimes they don't, I don't know, they'll, they're quick to forget they have the memory of a goldfish too. So, I, you know, we've seen whatever sports stars make terrible decisions and all this and then come back and have these huge contracts. I just don't see that for Harry and Meghan. They don't have the personality. They're awful people. You know, we'll never forgive them. But let's say even the general public did. What? What can they possibly, what are they skilled at? Um, <laughs> <laughs> insert the cricket noises. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a great point. I mean, think of all the uh, athletes that have made horrible choices. <laughs> at least yeah. they apologized for it. And uh -huh. In some cases, uh, you know, turn, turn things around. I mean, uh, I can think, I'm not going to go down a list, but I uh -huh. mean, I'm sure everybody can think of somebody. Uh huh. And I mean, what have these people? I mean, what have these two done? They they call they call grandma a racist and uh, tried to grift a, a, a an audio company. So yes. It's like okay, well, we probably don't want to work with them. Exactly. Yep. And it, it the other thing that I'm thinking too is you know we're on the heels of this book too. Like we just came out. I mean, within the last year we had the Netflix thing, his book, but now we're coming off Endgame. So they're they're at an all time low of like ability, right? So I just again, who is going to let's say that they're dropped now or in April or wh whenever it is? I think it's coming sooner or later if it hasn't already happened. Who is going to pick them up? I just I just can't imagine. Yeah, I mean, I've totally forgotten about all the books um, that they <laughs> did directly or indirectly. But I mean, oh, yeah. when you really when you really think of it, I mean, the I guess the peak of their popularity was probably the wedding, and then the next big thing was Harry writing about his dick <laughs> in, <laughs> in a book. I mean, that, those are like the only two. I mean, as as an outsider, uh, you know, dude that doesn't pay attention to this, or you know, I normally wouldn't if not for uh -huh. Jen. Those are the only two things I heard about. It's like, oh, there was a big wedding and he froze his dick in Antarctica <laughs> and, and, and wrote about rubbing his mommy's cream on it. It's like, what? <laughs> it's like, OK, yeah, yeah. Let's let's hire these guys. That's right. Oh, I, I would think he'd be more likely to get a brand deal for something like that. <laughs> yeah, if they made like a, I don't know, like cream. A, a, wool, a wool condom or something. Oh, God. <laughs> He's in an argument for condoms. All right. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Well, I think I'll end this here. Uh, I'm dying to know what you guys think about this. Let us know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me comments on what you think about this. Also, let me know if we sound okay. This is a new type of recording for us. Um, we're just testing this out for our secret project. Yeah, this will allow me to talk over Jen. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I'm the worst for that. So I have to always tell myself, shut up, Jen, stop talking, Jen. So I have to hold my, I have to hold myself back. So yeah, no, I gotta get better at that too. Oof. Anyway, uh, Jay, tell everybody what you're working on. Tell them what you're working on. Cause I'm very excited about it. And then <laughs> tell them where to find you. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm actually literally working on it right now. Hopefully I'll have it finished. Uh, just in time for not Christmas is my... Uh, <laughs> Who cares? It's never not a good time to watch it. Yeah, my uh, Die Hard video. Unfortunately, I don't get paid on my channel, so <laughs> my stuff is, uh, you know, uh, interrupted by work in real life. So uh, I missed the Christmas target, but I'm still doing the video and I'm uh, testing out some editing uh, tricks that I've just picked up. I've I've never really worked much in video. I used to work in Flash and other things, and it kind of translates over. So I'm doing some silly gags, mm -hmm. and uh, that should show up on the Doctor Bad Vibes Speaks channel hopefully soon. I mean, we're recording this on a Wednesday. I'm hoping maybe Thursday it'll be up uh, at least by Friday. So if you're not Yay. subscribed to Doctor Bad Vibes Speaks. Uh, please do that. I'm shocked at how many people have joined. I do have some videos up talking about dumb news. That's kind of what I'm doing right now. And uh, I do want to pump out some more content. I think that I think I may have something with that channel and I want to keep going. Yes. Thank Jay's a master at this dumb news thing where we live in Florida. We're surrounded by it. So <laughs> there's always Florida man, right? <laughs> yeah. So we'll never run out of content. Everyone is Florida man. <laughs> You're a Florida man. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> Yeah, it, it, definitely. Please check that out. Uh, I want to say thanks to everybody that's already subscribed. Like, it's shocking how fast that channel's grown compared to my other one. But hey, if you like video games, check out just the regular channel, Doctor Bad Vibe, or on Wait, Twitch. You cut out. Say Twitch. that again. TV. You cut oh. out. Say um, um, check out, and then uh huh. Uh, check out my regular, well, my original channel, uh, Dr. Bad Vibes. That's video game related, if you like old video games. And you can see me play games. Uh, I usually simul stream on uh, that channel and also twitch.tv slash, slash Dr. Bad Vibes. Okay, sounds good. I'm looking forward to it. And I have seen clips of what he's been working on Die Hard. And it really, it, it looks great. I'm excited for that to come out i can't wait to watch it again you guys are the best thank you for everything i'm so glad you've enjoyed those extended episodes lately that's awesome it's nice to be back recording fresh stuff again we'll kind of have a mix until they do some new stuff but uh i'm ready to talk about some new stuff and to do some live chat so look for those soon thank you guys for everything as always i mean leave me comments on this dying to know your thoughts I'm recording this a little bit in advance, so if new information comes out or it changes, then, you, you know, we'll talk about that too. Thank you for everything. I truly hope you have the best day and can't wait to bring you more stuff like this very soon. Take care. I've said Happy New Year a million times, but Happy 2024. Thanks for all the well wishes. We appreciate it. I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.